job is to uh, let the country know what we believe the truth is. Uh, we believe that the president, um, unfortunately, is too uh, maybe too desperate to hide the true state of affairs because all he wants to do is to create a false uh, impression that things are okay. Because the president doesn't want to accept the fact that things are really, really that bad. And uh, so we think we, the country needs to know. Uh, it's important for, for, because if you don't know what the truth is, it's difficult to even know what the solutions will be. And we think the, the, the MPP government, unfortunately, are making every effort to continue hiding the truth, pretending that problems are not what they are and problems are being caused by something else. And the country needs to know what the truth is. It's pretty obvious uh, for anybody who watches what's going on all over Africa and the sub-region that the president clearly is not telling the truth. Uh, if you have a leader who is lying about the real cause of the problem, uh, who refuses to acknowledge that all over the sub-region and all over Africa other countries are doing very well compared to us, who refuses to accept that no country is facing the kind of crisis we are facing in our sub-region. Obviously, from that premise, you can see already that it's a leader who does not want to tell the truth. In fact, I would say that uh, we should be looking forward to you in the media uh, becoming a bulwark, I mean, to stop what I call the, the serial deception that is going on in this country. Somehow, leaving this to be a battle between NDC and MPP makes it difficult for us to see what the truth is. You need to make it a responsibility to stop whichever side wants to continue lying to be exposed. We have no problem at all if you want to constitute a means by which even NDC will be forced to only tell the truth. And I believe that if we set up a system like that, what will happen is that we will sanitize the politics in this country and prevent serial liars that we have in power today from ever occupying the position of leadership. But you continue being quiet, they will continue to prevail. They will lose power in 2024, but somehow they will come back again because you will not continue shining the light to prevent liars like that from ever taking back this, I mean, this country's leadership. So, I mean, this, what we did today is simply to let the country appreciate that the lies must stop. The truth must be told. And that's the only way we, we, we start having a solution to the problem that faces. Mm -hmm.